Uh, Marsh doesn't serve $6 cappuccino or espresso or any of that. Marsh, down to earth, unpretentious. It's like San Francisco used to be. Stephanie's always been very careful to protect what is right about the marsh. And that means that, um, you know, we've been able to get through, um, you know, a major recession. Good evening, my name is Stephanie Wiseman. I'm artistic director and founder of The Marsh, whose home is located right next to the proposed development. First of all, I would like everyone who is here supporting The Marsh to stand or raise their hand if they're already standing. Thank you so much. In 1989, you can sit too. In 1989, I founded The Marsh, a nonprofit theater, as a fledgling, fledgling one night a week series at the Hotel Utah to develop new performance by giving artists a venue and tools to develop their voice. During the past almost 25 years, we have grown from a one night a week series to annually presenting 700 shows to 44,000 people, 400 in our mission theaters. We provide 55 classes for adults and youth, average 10 world premieres each year to artists like Brian Copeland, Mar Gomez, Marga Gomez, Jeff Hoyle, Josh Kornbluth, Marilyn Pittman, Charlie Varon, and many others. such a wonderful experience to hear and have the support of a community, which you think you might have, but, but to see everybody keep coming forth, I mean, this is literally our seventh hearing, the fourth at the Board of Appeals, and, and the Marsh coming out, meeting after meeting. So the Marsh uh, helped me tremendously in my life. I saw one show there, uh, Brian Copeland did a show on um, depression. I uh, suffer from depression myself. It was brought on uh, due to uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. I spent a lot of time in, um, in the war in Iraq, and uh, I, I didn't have the courage to, to seek help. And uh, his courage to, to speak out and, uh, at that show at the Marsh gave me the courage to go to the VA and, and get help. So um, the Marsh actually helped change my life and my family's life. So. Well, Philip Armour supporter, board member, um, steadfast, uh, ardent Marsh enthusiast. Philip was an early Marsh supporter who got what we do right away and has been in our corner from the beginning. And he's a great guy. I have never seen Philip without a twinkle in his eye. There is this, this little bit of mischief that's just below the surface with Philip and that can break out at any moment.